Hello guys, welcome back to my beautiful space. This is Nomad Saka. This is my new vlog today at the village. I'm here in the village with D Managuansu. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Still D. Still on. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. see, we are still moving, yeah? With the same same clothes since yeah. our journey. Yeah, so guys, we are really enjoying we are really enjoying this place. You can hear the birds singing. Get up. Can you hear the birds? That's what you get when you're in the village and uh, we're just happy that we are here and uh, let's show you guys around. Let's walk. Let's walk. Yeah, you can see the dog over here just relaxing. It is shocked to see her. There's another one over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hear the bird singing. You can hear the bird singing. Eh? Can you hear that? That's village life. And we are now here. You know, when it dries up completely, mm -hmm. this turns up to, to money. This okay. is money. So you what do you, they do? You, you you sell you sell to to people who have uh, cattle. Oh, so you sell them? Yeah, so like you can get a Maasai, they'll yeah. pay you like 10,000 to graze here until they, they, they finish. They, they finish. Wow, that's a good amount. Yeah, so sometimes you preserve it so that mm. when you, when you can get something out of it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, because they cannot afford to lose a cow mm. just because of uh, drought. Wow, so this is the village. This is the, this is the village life. Look at this. So we're really enjoying the, the tour. So this is Demon Saguan little project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this little project. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being a landlord in the village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just enjoying benefits. Yeah, so this is a landlord in the village. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was telling you guys. You need to have a purpose in life. So when you go to the village, don't just go because of problems. Go mm. there with a the purpose. Yes. So you see, like these guys are here mm. making something uh, every month. Mm. Yeah. So you know, when you're in the village, you make something out of it mm. monthly. It's a good thing. Yeah. So this is the life here in the village. You can see how this place looks like. It's like a a jungle in front of us. The jungle, so this grass. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So this one goes up so to down there. Yeah, this is like three acres. Eh? Three acres. Three acres of land. Yeah, it is fenced all all the way. I can see. Yeah, you guys have fenced it all the way. Can we manage to go down there? Yeah, we can. Let's go. We have. May I have boots? I don't know why didn't you <laughs> put yours? Okay. So we even have. Like this, this is acacia tree. It has a lot of thorns, so I have to be very careful. You see, like this one over here, and I need to pass. So I'll have to, I'll have to lift it like this. Oh, I need to be very careful. Then I take it back. Wow. So we are here. We have tall grasses everywhere. <laughs> And I have a shot. Wow. Typical village life in the village. Would you live here? Yeah. yeah. You can build a home down here. Who? You? You can build a home here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can build something here. Yeah. Which is so, so, so good. Uh, look at this guys You can be able to Build something here, mm -hmm. so maybe One day when you there was, a, there, there was an idea ahead uh -huh. Like you know around around this area. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, resort mm -hmm. around. Yeah, exactly. The other day I was thinking of like you know like in this area mm -hmm. Not no cutting of trees, mm. but you see the, the short short trees, the yeah. short, short bushes. Uh -huh. They get cleared, mm -hmm. and everywhere we have a a, a tree. Mm. They set around uh, uh, some benches. Uh, some benches round. Yeah, some yeah. benches, uh -huh. some natural benches using mm. the, the the normal wood. Mm. 
then building some sort of like uh, restaurants, cottages, cottages. Uh-huh. Just a simple one. Mm-hmm. Like you see like the way you constructed there. Yeah, that house over there. Yeah, you yeah. construct another one there. Mm-hmm. With another the counter one. base, yeah. mm-hmm. the hotel. Mm-hmm. And now, mm-hmm. the places of sitting, mm-hmm. they be around the trees. Uh, around the trees. Oh, so that's awesome. We hang, the, we hang some lights. Mm-hmm. All around the, the fairy lights. Just we call them fairy lights. Yeah. Uh-huh. Something simple but unique and good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good idea. You see, these guys are thinking, man. So... I was thinking of such. Maybe in the future when you come here, it will be a resort. Yeah. Let's manifest. Mm. <laughs> manifest for it and pray. Yeah, let's manifest. So, uh, one good thing about this place, I've loved the way people are so welcoming. People are just uh, friendly, you know. Mm. I'd say they are hospitable. You know, when you go to some places, uh, you it's it's rare to get this kind of reception not everyone will welcome you yeah, yeah they'll be asking you a lot a lot of questions but here yeah the funny thing is that the people in this village are not used to like youtubers and everything actually i guess i'm the first vlogger to be here and uh these people are so welcoming yeah, they are friendly yeah, they just good you know yeah, I'm just trying to dodge the thorns. I feel like something is in my shoes. Hmm? You see these things? They're like microscopic thorns. They're so small, so tiny. Ah. Let me. The wilderness. And we are right out. Yeah. So that's D Managuan. Adventuring. Woo. Guys, this is the village life. Yeah, when you're here in the village and you have some projects like this, surviving won't be a problem. Because you'll be able to get something every month and you'll be able to run your your, your things, you know? So, it is always good, it is always good, wow, so look at this, we are heading to the garden, huh? you can see some plantation down there, we have bananas, everything, we also have a spring down there, oh, there is another spring over there, yes. wow, this is Kambani, but uh, yeah. we are blessed with springs yeah. in our own surroundings. Yeah, because you know, most of the Ukambani region is always dry. Yeah, but let me tell you one thing about this area. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, know, you see this area? Mm-hmm. I don't think, is, is it because of that forest and that dam or mm-hmm. something? Mm-hmm. But uh, when it is the season of draining, mm-hmm. this area, mm-hmm. this small area, this one, mm-hmm. it rains a lot. Mm. Not compared so, to other places. Yeah, compared to the rest of the places to the to all the way to the highway. Mm. So mm. Uh, you find that mm. when it is dry, mm. it dries to its maximum, and when it starts raining, mm. Mm. it also rains to its, to its maximum. Wow. Yeah. So we experience both climate in uh, ost, uh, uh, in harsh and, and, and conditions. Wow. Mm. So they get, like they get full experience when it comes to raining season they get it fully when it comes to dry season they also get it fully yeah but one thing about like people if you ask anyone who is not from this area they'll tell you that this place is ukambani like the the rest of, like eastern part of kenya is always dry so most of the people who are not from the eastern part of kenya they believe that all this area is dry, the Ukambani area. Mm. They call it Ukambani because most of the people who uh, settle here are Kamba. And uh, that's why they call it Ukambani. Ukambani. That's a, I don't know, is it a Swahili slang or something? So most of them call it Ukambani. So when I say Ukambani, the locals here will understand me. And that's why we call it that. So let's go. 
We have some kids over here. Watcha. Hey, the water. Danny. Daddy, the water. David. Na mami. Ndenya. Nisao. So I'm asking them their name and their parents' name. So that's how you know a kid, is, uh, a kid has grown enough to take care of himself. Wacha. With the water. Wa? Wati. Okay. Now go with the water. Baby. Kyoko. 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 Eh? Kyoko wao? Musioki. Okay. So I was just asking them their names <coughs> and their father's name. It's it's common here in Africa when somebody asks you your name, he will uh, continue and ask you your father's name, which is very normal. Why, cha? So guys, I told you like I, that I speak Kamba, so don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. So there's another spring here. Wow. Yeah, so is this owned by the government? No. Yeah. Uh, it's a private one. Private one. Yeah. Wow. You hey guys, imagine you are here. You can even plant and your water is throughout. Mm. So you can even plant your stuff right, uh, right here. Yeah. Mm. You can just pump. Who owns this area? Who owns this land? This is my my grandmother's mm -hmm. or grandfather's. Mm -hmm. And now it is inheritance to my uncle. Wow. So the uncle that we've just... No. no another one. Yeah. Guys, you can imagine having this kind of spring. Yeah. And yeah. Right, right in your farm. farm. You can plant anything. Anything. This guy, if it can... If you can sell this place, I can be able to buy it. <laughs> yeah, you know, living close with this water, close you can water. you can do wonders. This is now gold. This is gold. You can and do wonders. Onion. And it is always like this. It doesn't dry Never up. Dries. Wow. So, guys. It was built in 2007 mm. by oh. my uncle. Or oh, the walls now. Yeah. Wow. But the spring was already existing. Mm. I, can, I can see. Yeah. So guys, you can imagine having this here, and you have a farm right here. Mm -hmm. I can be planting seasonally, like every time. And that's why you see these guys have, are planting things here. You can see they have kale, <laughs> which we call sukumawiki here in Kenya. So you can see kale over there, kale plantation. They've also planted, uh, you see this is kale, kale. <coughs> What's the name of that? Uh, I don't know in English. There's another fruit. So what fruit is this? I don't know. I don't know its name. And Swahili tomoko. Yeah, tomoko. So this is tomoko for those who the uh, for those who know Kiswahili or Swahili. So guys, tell us what do you call this? What do you call this in English? Tell us, tell us, tell us. What's the name of this fruit? Huh? This one. Kindly go tell us what's the name of this fruit. Kindly. <laughs> Tomoko. So is this ready or? No, it's not ready. Oh, so. She'll do away with it. Uh -huh. So you can see like this farm over here. See the pipes? These guys are irrigating the farm using these pipes. Mm -hmm. This place looks uh, mm -hmm. looks like it has sufficient water. Very. Mm -hmm. Like you see right now, there's no rain, mm -hmm. but it's still having water. Yeah. So they always water the farm every time, daily. <coughs> so do they need like a pump, or they just since the water is close by, they can? Yeah, they use a pump. They use a pump to pump the water from here to the upper. Oh. To the uh, to the upper farm. Yeah. Okay. So that's awesome, guys. This is the village life we're really enjoying. Today, I'm just here relaxing with Dimanago, and so there's something in my shoe. Let me see if I can get it out. 
no i'm not used to the village experience yeah, this thing is really giving me hard, hard times let me see if i can remove it something is eating me from inside what? something was giving me headache right here at the farm yeah let me just uh, be strong i'll go we have black jack i'm also trying to avoid black jack <sighs> this is the black jack i don't know if you can see the this thing can stick on your clothes so i step it like that i pass wow so you see this thing we call it orlando this one over here this plant in luo luo's call it orlando my grandfather used to my grandfather used to make uh, something known as uteo uteo to like it's like our what's uteo in english i don't know i'll show you but he used to make uteo with those things known as orlando oh back then when i was in the village because so these are sweet potatoes the good thing with here you can plant anything you can see a pipe a very big pipe yeah? these people are really enjoying the village life since they have water everything is possible possibilities so this is the life this is the experience when you're here everything goes look at this tree over here very big yeah, yeah luo is like english yeah. orlando orlando yeah. you know luo it's like English, like when you want to say book, in the way you say book. So guys, we're still here in the village, and uh, this is the village life. You can see kids playing without any problems. Mama. So this is the life. This is, Mama. this is what it takes to, to be a village guy or a, be a village boy. <laughs> eh? Demon. Eh? You're really enjoying this life, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You can see the dogs over here. That's a dog, village dog. Uh, it's not like those dogs in in the in the city mm -hmm. that uh, <laughs> needs uh, tender care. Mm -hmm. You can see another dog over here, very chilled, just doing its things, and we are really enjoying, really, really enjoying being. We are really enjoying being here. So this is the village life. Look at the bushes. Huh? Everything here is cool. Cooler than cool. Huh? So look at this. The environment. The, the view. And imagine it's not even the rain season. And it looks like this. So let's move. So guys when you're here in the village. You only need to have some small money. And big projects. And you'll be able to survive in this kind of environment because it takes a few money to survive here it's not that expensive it's always affordable yeah so if you really want to survive in this town you really need a small amount of money and a big project maybe you know something that that can just keep you going yeah? because look at this environment guys uh, imagine you sitting somewhere owning the same place like this you have trees around eh? you eat organic food you chill you can see the mountain over there uh, i mean the hill over there you can just be going there to hike and a lot of things so it's up to you village life is here for those who yeah, village life is there is it's there for those who need it and those who can't do anything about it so it's either you are here by choice 
or by circumstance. You can see this dog is just here. Just fall in love with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doggy, doggy, dog. Doggy, doggy, dog. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm just petting it. I'm patting it. Hmm? It has just followed me. I don't know. Yeah. What's up, doggy dog? You good, doggy doggy? <laughs> hmm? Up. You know when I tell I tell that dog of mine up, it, it jumps up. So I was trying it with this dog, but it seems like it is not trained in that manner. So I'm not a lucky guy, but it's okay. I can manage as far as it's following me. That's a good sign that we are being friends. So, friendly dog. It was almost biting me. A friendly bite. Hmm? Daddy dog. Get it. Ooh. Wow. Dog life. Yeah, this is what it takes, guys. This is what it takes. Uh -huh. You can see how life is good here in the village. Yeah, so when you have some good time with good dogs, you always enjoy. And it's good. Thank God these people have electricity. So this is a good place to live. Uh, so no complaining, no nothing. Uh, these guys are really enjoying it. And uh, look at that. Uh, the dog has abandoned me. Why? Why did you abandon me? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy man. Now it's it's looking at me. Look at that. Oh it's coming. Coming, 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 coming. Oh doggy dog. Eh? We've just been friends a few minutes ago and you're abandoning me, Bala. What's up? Hmm? See this dog. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. So this is a dog in the village, the village dog. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so it's still following me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so here we are. Eh? Village life. Eh? Do you own a dog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dog is up there. <coughs> but he doesn't know you are around. Uh, he don't know you are around. He didn't see me. Oh. Did, did not see me. Uh -huh. You know, for me, I'm a, I'm, I, I love dogs, hmm? but uh, I can see this one is making sense. Yeah, it's just following me around. You know, I prefer those those big big dogs, hmm. like German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah. So especially when I'm in the village, I need something big. Okay. Something aggressive. Yeah. So this is the village life, guys. Hey, the view here is breathtaking, man. Yeah. What's the name of this? Uh, aloe, vera. aloe vera. This is good for your skin. It's always good for your health. You can use it as a mosquito repellent at night. You smear it on your face and hands and legs. Then boom! You have a, a natural mosquito repellent. Which is so good. Which is so, so good. So she'll put that into in, 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 into your bucket list.
Mm. Having such uh, ideas can save your life and can save you money. Yeah. Oh man, village life. Enjoyable, enjoyable village life. When you are in the village, you can always be fit because of the hills. Yeah. Like, you keep fit any time you walk. You're always doing great. Working out is automatic, mm -hmm. natural. Mm -hmm. So we are back here at home. Yeah, so this is it. We are back in the village. Back at home. Yeah. So this is the village life, guys. Yeah. So... So guys, we're still here in the village. We are going to for... We are going for to a uh, portion mill to grind this maize so that we can get maize flour then uh, from there we will be able to cook some sweet ugali yeah so we're heading to the portion mill which is not far from here eh? see Dima and mm. yeah. we are descending eh? this place you guys have uh, harvested sand no oh. maram yeah guys so this is the village life typical village life mm -hmm. let's see if we can find a way then we keep mm -hmm. this is his uncle's place Look at how the home looks like. Looks modern. Looks very modern. Mm -hmm. So we're still heading down. Typical village life. Uh, I'm carrying heavy sack of maize. Yes. We must make sure that we we must make sure that we eat some sweet ugali here in the village. The good thing is that this maize is right from the farm, straight from the farm. No additives, no nothing. So, this is what you get. And here we are. So we must, uh, it's like we are siphoning it, right? Mm. Look at how clean this maze is. Very clean. So we must try and uh, remove some debris, something that is not required. Things like this. We call them in we call them betea. So we remove some betea. <laughs> things like this. This is not allowed. Yeah. We want uh, pure, pure maize. So that we can get we can get clean maize flour. This is actually the best drink the best guy. Yeah, so we normally we normally use this to cook uh, the African cake. Do you know the African cake? Yeah, the ugali. <laughs> ugali, ugali is the African cake. So when we when we we use this to cook African cake, it is always delicious. Mm -hmm. So how much does it cost for, like, let's say this, how? I think it's 5 shillings per kg, I bet. I'm not sure 5 shillings per kg? Yeah. So how many kgs are these? 
they will weigh and they will oh, they have to weigh it. Yeah. Right now, the like economy is on the roof. I guess they love to ask for more package. So we are doing this so that we can. Let me show you. I try to do it. You see those things falling down. I don't know if you can see them. I guess from here you can see them. You see those things falling? Yeah, those are the things we are trying to avoid. Yeah, for us to get clean, clean maze, we need to do this. Village life. Angalia <laughs> Kami. <laughs> yeah. Village life is awesome. Yeah. Very awesome. We're just here beside the road. Hmm? Anything. So, the person got a good Five shillings. Yeah. So, five shillings. So five shillings per kg. Yeah, so that's what it takes to grind the maize. Yeah. Mm. So we have to the all we have to take it back to the sack again so that it can be Yeah, we need to like do it again. Ah. Uh. So, let me show you guys the portion meal. Springville Millers. Mm. So these guys are really working. They really make a good money. Organize. 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 Every other day we organize. So we are here organizing this. I'm trying to fill this with my one hand. I don't know if it's possible. But let me try it with my both hands. You can even do it. Work is tiresome, but this the end of the day we'll be enjoying some some sweet, sweet, sweet uh, ugali. Do you have a name of English for ugali? Ugali. I uh, think it's uh, it since it originated from like East Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have English name for it. Yeah. But we can find one. Kindly guys, tell us down below. What do you think Ugali should be called in English? But uh, since it, 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 was, it originated in uh, East Africa, Swahili is the best. So we'll just call it Ugali for originality. So we'll just call it Ugali. Right? So that's the issue. So let's try and finish this then we get back to you in a few yeah, so I'm trying to I'm trying to let me put it here so that you can see what I'm doing
typical village life. Yeah, I'm so, saying there was a guy who told him that I have some business with him. So they weren't calling. Even me, I was to meet somebody. Yeah. <laughs> big Sam, big Sam something. Doing something. A YouTuber. And uh, it seems like uh, <laughs> I stood him up. So maybe I'll have to reschedule. But I, I, I was planning to go early. But you know, content come first. So. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, we are here in the village enjoying life. We're really looking forward to meeting this guy. So let's wait. So after here, after here we are going to take it to the to the posho mill so that it can be grinded. Mm -hmm. Then after there, we head back home. That's the one. Good. The guy who it's ready. It's ready. is doing it in the village. For big meal. So the good thing is that this Porsche mill is not that loud enough compared to those old ones. This one uses electricity. a steamer. a steamer. Yeah, this one uses electricity, so... How many can you eat? This is great! Okay. So guys, you see, this is just been... At the moment, at the moment we are in a queue, so we are waiting for our turn. Then he'll be able to grind the maize for us. But at the moment, let's just wait. So we are here in the village waiting. I'll be back when you are ready. So guys, we're still in the village. We are heading to we are heading at the posho mill to see what's going on. Maybe the guy has finished uh, uh, grinding the maize. So we are hoping that we'll find flour maize flour yeah so let's go let's go and see what's happening we're here with demon as always <laughs> it has been yeah it has been amazing all through, all, through the all through the channel man this is amazing <coughs> this is uh next level yeah. yeah look at us guys next level next level next level so we are heading this way with Dimana Guan so pondy please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, super we're doing, it, we're doing it like super artists. We've never done it before. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let them continue subscribing so that we can get all the way to ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand subs. Their support will give us the motivation yeah. to keep visiting 
yeah. so many counties. places yeah so guys yeah. anytime you subscribe and the next time and, and the like the video embo embo we're heading to embo very soon with this guy so keep it locked yeah. keep it locked so guys we are heading this way uh today is our last day here mm -hmm. so we are getting back to the chaotic nairobi city <laughs> Busy streets of Nairobi. So we're just uh, bidding these guys farewell, like we're just telling them bye bye. Yeah, so let's go, guys. I feel bad, but yeah. Everything has an end. Yeah, but very soon we are still going to some places. So it's going to be amazing. Amazingly beautiful. Yeah, so we are here with Dima and Aguan, so we are here to pick our maize flower mm. and uh, it's going to be lit, littered and lit. Mm. So the natural environment here is going to be breath, like when you're here, it's always breathtaking. Uh, we enjoy the, the, the nature here and everything. Uh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Yeah, that's what it takes. We'll buy something. And uh, this is what you get from just being a, a villager here. Yeah. Dimanaguan. Tell them. Mm -hmm. So this guy, he has closed. We are waiting for him. You know, today is on Sunday. So he's not supposed to be working. So he just did us a favor. A favor. So we're just waiting for him so that we can pick our maize flour. Then we go with it. Yeah. He said that you eat organic. <laughs> organic meals. Organic meals. Yeah. Any day, any time. Yeah. Yeah, the village boy. <laughs> yeah. Typical village boys from Ilengeni. Ilengeni village. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be lit. Well, uh, let's just wait for him. Then everything will be awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I guess we should end this video here. What do you think? Yeah. So, guys, thank but you. Before even we can end, they should subscribe and do that thing. Yeah, guys, kindly go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yeah. because we have a lot, mm. a lot more. Mm. So guys, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Share. Yeah, comment, Let, comment. Tell us what you give think. Us. <laughs> <laughs> tell us what you think, yeah. and uh, maybe uh, you will be able to see more and more of this interesting environment. Yeah. Next, we are going somewhere special. Yeah. yeah. Very so special. It's going to be lit. We're going to have a party in the bush. Let so. Them keep Tuned yeah. so that they can know the so if you, place. Exactly. So if you really want to see what we'll be up to, mm -hmm. kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be able to see more and more content that we upload. Yeah. And uh, with that, I'd say adios, muchachos. <laughs> <laughs>